Now that we've gone over the mechanics of the volley and feel comfortable doing it with a partner straight ahead, we're gonna do a couple drills that are more of an advanced level. So for this first one, just like our dinking episode, we're going to volley and shuffle down the line. Now for this one, I wanna make sure I keep my toes, hips, and shoulders facing my partner and not crossing over. I wanna avoid crossing over and I wanna avoid coming up on one foot and losing my balance. So we're gonna, Clint and I are going to start where our kitchen line meets our sideline and we're going to volley all the way down to the end of the court and come on back. Here we go. The goal of all of these drills is to be a good drill partner. If you're playing with someone that really likes to just kill the ball, let's go back. Then I want you to find someone else that wants to get better and drill. Clint and I are doing a good job of making sure we hit a lot of reps. And that's the whole point of drilling. Let's go back one more time. Again, keeping those toes, hips, and shoulders open. If you notice, most of these are on our backhand side where our knuckles are facing the net. Every once in a while, we'll get a forehand volley where I can open up. But that 11 o'clock ready position really does help us get to that nine o'clock as quick as possible. Finish up strong, good. Two more, one more. Very nice. In the next drill, it's going to simulate the bounce tap push that we did in dinking, but it's going to be the bounce and absorb on the volley. So we're gonna keep this ball in the air, but when the ball gets sent over to me by Clint, I'm going to absorb it on my paddle first, and while the ball is still in the air, I'm going to volley the ball back to him. And he's gonna do the same thing with me. Here we go. Good. So we're catching it on our paddle and we're sending it right back. Now I don't want Clip to get handcuffed, so he's gonna to switch to his back end. There we go. Good. Again, start this drill about 50% pace. And as you get more comfortable with your partner, you can start to speed it up a little bit and simulate more of a point. The whole goal here is to keep that grip nice and soft, because if I have a really, really tight grip, this ball is going to launch off my paddle. I want to absorb it, keep it right around my strike zone or my sweet spot, which is right in front of my body, and I want to send it right back over. Good. It takes a lot of hand-eye coordination to do this, but again, I'm following the ball, and I'm keeping my paddle above the net and around my waist. Good. If you want to get a little bit more advanced with it, we can catch and send it and shuffle at the same time. So this will combine the drill we just did before this with the drill we're doing now. So we're going to catch and send and walk down the line. Good. Very nice. Good. If you catch it on that backhand side, you got to send it on that backhand side. One more plant. Good. And we'll work our way back. Oh, almost. Let's start here again. We'll do a clean round. Good. 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 Catching that ball, absorbing that pace. Very nice. Not coming off the ground. I'm dragging my foot if I need to, just to keep my balance. Very good. One more. Nice. Very good. Really clean drill. For the last round of the volley drills, we're going to have one partner stay stationary while the other partner shuffles down the line. So in this particular one, I'm going to have Clint stay where he's at on that side of the court, and I'm going to work my way down the non-volley zone line and work my way back. This is going to work on both of us being able to hit the target and especially the moving target. Again, we are volleying most of these balls. So I'm going to move down the line, and Clint's going to stay in the same spot. My goal as a partner is to continue to push right towards his paddle. Once I make it all the way down, I'm going to work my way back. Good. Still shuffling, keeping all those toes, hips, and shoulders still facing the net. There we go. Really nice. Now for the second drill, I'm going to stay stationary, and Clint here is going to move down the line. Here we go. Clint will start on his backhand side in this particular sequence, but eventually he's probably going to open up to his forehand side and start to volley down that right dominant shoulder. Good. He's going to work his way all the way down, and he's going to start to come on back. Good. Nice. Good. Very good. We're going to do the same thing again, but we're going to switch sides. So Clint's going to come over here. And I'm also going to come over here. Clint, come on over here. 
I'm going to start moving down the line this way and Clint's going to stay stationary. All right, here we go. So this is going to work on my backhand transition to my forehand transition. Or I can stay on my forehand. There we go. Good. And then I'm going to work my way back down. Good. Oh yeah. Good. Very nice. Good. Good. And then the last sequence of this will be Clint is now going to move and I am going to stay stationary. Here we go. Good. Shuffling down that line. Again, be a good partner. Try to make as many balls as you can. Work on that repetition, that muscle memory. When you get all the way back, we're going to move down the line. Keep going. Yeah. Switch to that backhand. There you go. Good. Good. Very nice. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that. To challenge yourself even a little bit more for this next volley drill, we're both going to start on opposite ends of the court, and we're both going to be moving simultaneously at the same time. So at some point during this drill, we are going to be crisscrossing over toward the other side of the court. I'm going to start over here, Clint's going to start over there, and we're going to work on our volleys as both of us move. So now there's two moving targets, one for me and one for Clint. Good. Nice. Good. Once we get to the ends, we're going to work our way back. Yes. Keep shuffling. Good. Lift. Nice. Lift. Nice. Good. Good. That's how it's done. Just like that. Nice job.